Configuring an OSPF stub area is both powerful and straightforward if you know the rules. And let's make sure we know those rules. What we do is we go into OSPF router configuration mode. We type in area followed by the area we want to make a stub. You can't make the backbone area a stub area. And then we just say stub. So that's a pretty straightforward command. But I want you to see something very important. It says configure on all routers in the stub area. You're going to do this on all of your routers in that stub area. Why is that? It is because of this right here, the area stub flag. The area stub flag is one of those fields that must match between the routers in order to form adjacencies. So that's really, really important. So we go into uh, OSPF configuration mode, area two stub. If we were going to apply this to our topology, where might we do it? Well, we would do this in a place where we would expect less power, less processing, lower end routers. And so I would probably choose for my autonomous system 567 more so because they're connected via WANs and I'm probably not going to do this at the headquarters. So let's say we want to make area 567 a stub area. Firstly, are we getting external routes? So I'm going to do a show IP route OSPF and we'll look for some external routes. External routes are easy to recognize in OSPF because they've got the E telling us it's external. E1 and E2 are both external. So I want to filter these. I want to shield these. And really, the only router we're truly going to be shielding is R7 because R5 is an area border router, so it will receive those. So let's make sure that we're focusing on R7. It is seeing the E2 routes right now. Let's shield those. Let's go to R5 and make R5 a stub area. To begin with, I'll do a show IP protocols because we can see that there's something about this stub operation here. We'll do router no, area 567 stub and we're just going to do the regular OSPF stub area. We should expect neighborship drop, neighborships to drop between R5 and R7. Why? Because we have just made the hellos in disagreement. The stub flag is no longer matching, and that's what this command says. We're setting the stub flag to be on. So I'm not going to get neighborship until I fix this problem. It's not really a problem. And I'll do a, another show IP protocols just so you get to see, yes, we've changed the value there for stub to one now. Moving on, do the exact same command on R6. Again, we drop neighborship. And we're going to reform that neighborship. Now, at this point, R7 doesn't have any OSPF routes, or does it? I was expecting it to not have any OSPF routes. You saw me pause there for a moment because I, I wasn't expecting to see anything. So right now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go into OSPF configuration mode, area 567 stub, I should get neighborships reformed at this point because the uh, the stub flag is now properly configured on all routers in area 567. We see that our neighborship is back up and running. If I do a show IP route OSPF, I shouldn't see external routes, but I'm seeing this guy. I'm seeing 
that default route that we were told is going to happen. So this is what is going to help us get to the external routes. We're going to be sending to the area border router. Both area border routers will inject that default route. It's a type 3 route, interestingly. It's going to inject a default route into the area. So that is OSPF stub configuration.